Hello everyone. Today, I'm here to show you a video of the self-powered wiring of the KHF series battery column meter. This is the display module, measurement module, and sampler for the KHF series column meter. The voltage measurement range for the 2W self-powered wiring is 10 to 120 volts. Before wiring, Please check the switch on the back of the measurement module to ensure that it is set to the 2W position for self-powered wiring. Next, open the samplers case you can see the BAT and load labels on the PCB board. Let's first understand the principle of sampler wiring. Remove the wire previously connected to the negative pole of the battery and connect it to the copper screw on the load end of the sampler. Then, Prepare a wire to connect the screw on the bat end of the sampler and the negative pole of the battery. Let's demonstrate the wiring process. Remove the wire from the negative pole of the battery. Loosen the screw on the load end of the sampler with a wrench. Connect the wire previously removed from the battery's negative pole to the screw on the load end of the sampler. Tighten the screw. Then take a wire that can withstand the maximum working current of the battery to connect the screw on the bat end of the sampler and the negative pole of the battery. After connecting everything, close the sampler's case. Take out the 4P ribbon cable to connect the sampler and the measurement module's current sensor interface. Observe the power supply interface in the upper left corner of the measurement module. From top to bottom, they are VSNS, VEXT, and GND. Remove the 3P green terminal block and connect a 16 AWG, 13 AWG wire to the corresponding VSNS interface on the 3P green terminal block. After connecting it, plug it into the power supply interface of the measurement module and connect the other end of the wire to the positive pole of the battery. At this point, the green indicator light on the measurement module starts flashing, indicating that the instrument has started working. Connect the display module to the RS-485 display interface of the measurement module via a 4P communication cable. The actual standard 4P communication cable length is 5 meters. Connect the temperature sensor to the temperature sensor interface of the measurement module. This completes the self-powered wiring of the KHF series battery column meter. Finally, let's take a look at the state of the KHF series battery column meter during charging and discharging. When the battery is charging, the current color is green, and the remaining capacity and capacity percentage of the battery both increase and the estimated time indicates how much time is needed to fully charge the battery. When the battery is discharging, the current color is blue, and the remaining capacity and capacity percentage of the battery both decrease, and the estimated time indicates how long it will take to discharge the battery. Thank you for watching.